Good morning, Good News Kids. Today, Avery and I are going to be reading you a story about Job and how he is a righteous man. The story is he gives and takes away. Once, a very long, long time ago, there was a man named Job. Job was a righteous man. That means he was a very good guy. Just like Noah, he tried to do what was right. He listened to God and God blessed Job. Job had 10 kids, 7,000 sheep, and 3,000 camels, and 500 pair of oxygen. He had everything he wanted. Job had a really good life. Look at Job, God said. He loves me and he does what's right. But then God's enemy, the sneaky old snake that had lied to Adam and Eve said, he only loves you because you've blessed him. Take away all his stuff and he'll stop loving you for sure. Let's see if you're right, God said. Then the sneaky old snake, his real name was Satan, disappeared and boom. Satan sent bandits who stole Job's oxen and donkeys. Then he caused a fire that burned up all Job's sheep. Then more bandits came and took his camels. Then, worst of all, a windstorm knocked down the house where Job's kids were and they all died. Job was very sad. He ripped his clothing. That's what people did back then when they were very sad and he sat in the dirt. But did he stop loving God? Nope. Job said, God gave me all these things and God can take them away. Blessed is the name of God. Job still loved God. Then God's enemy said, what if Job was sick? Then would he stop loving you? Let's see if you're right, God said. Boom. Satan covered Job with sores all over. His head hurt, his feet hurt, and everywhere in between hurt. Job was miserable. Then Job's friends came to visit. They wanted to help Job. These terrible things have happened because you've done something terrible, they said. Tell us what you have done. But Job replied, I have not done anything terrible. I've been following God. Job's friends did not believe him. These bad things must be your punishment. You need to stop being bad, they said. But I've been good, Job yelled. Job was getting very angry. His friends were getting angry too. You are terrible friends, Job yelled. And God, why don't you help me out? Why don't you tell them I've been good? You're not fair. Just then, a whirlwind showed up like a small tornado and Job and his friends heard a voice. It was God's voice. Who created the seas, God said. Who created the giant animals? Who put stars in space? God's voice boomed from the whirlwind. And who is calling me unfair? Job put his hand over his mouth. His whole body was shaking in fear. Then God turned to Job's friends. Just because bad things happen to Job doesn't mean he's being bad. There is more going on than you can see, God said. Now Job's friends shook with fear. Did God tell Job about the enemy who said that Job wouldn't love God if bad things happened to him? No, he didn't. Why not? Because Job didn't need to know everything. Job just needed to trust God. And even when life was hard, I've spoken about things I did not understand, Job said. God is fair. Then God healed Job's sickness. Job had more kids and God gave Job more camels, sheep, oxen, and donkeys. Twice as many as he had before. Job learned that bad things sometimes happen to good people. He also learned that even when life doesn't make sense, God is still in control and God can still be trusted. Kids, sometimes we know that life can be hard 
and life isn't always fair. But when life is not fair, God is still good. Sometimes we wonder why bad things happen to good people. And that's a really tricky answer. But the answer is that the world is broken. And when Adam and Eve sinned, God's world was broken. Everything changed. One day, God will make things right again. But until then, bad things will continue to happen, even to good people. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for all the good things you have given us and the bad things to help us grow. We know that you love us, so we will trust you no matter what. Amen.